Yo, what's good people? It's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. I hope it's good wherever you're watching from. Today, I'm going to be doing the spin the wheel challenge. So I'm going to put a bunch of different genres, all kinds of genres, genres that I haven't even made before. Dubstep, EDM, whatever. I'm going to put it in a wheel. I'm going to spin the wheel and whatever it lands on, that's what I have to make today. That's the challenge. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video though, this one is sponsored by DistroKid. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video. DistroKid is a online service that allows you to distribute your music across all the major streaming platforms such as Spotify, Tidal, Apple and so much more as well as the 150 online stores that they promote your music to. They have a ton of tools that you can use to market your song so you can get it in front of way more people and also they collect your earnings and your payments on the back end so you can go through and see exactly how much your song has earned you and they'll pay you 100% minus the banking fees but they don't take any cuts themselves they pay you 100%. I personally use DistroKid to distribute all my music and my brother's music. There's so many good features about DistroKid. The plans start at $19.99 per year, which is a super bargain. But amongst the promotional tools that they have, you can create a promo card to release on your social media. And that's all free within DistroKid as well. From upload to release date to marketing, DistroKid has you covered. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Get started today, distrokid.com. Let's get into the video. Put in some genres, I'm thinking trap. I'm thinking boom bap, drill, EDM, pop, why not? Drum and bass, what others could I put in there? Uh, garage. Garage, yeah, of course. Hyper pop, R&B, how can I forget that? And Bollywood. Let's throw that in there. I hope I don't get Bollywood, That's, that seems way too hard to do. All right, let's spin this. Drum and bass. Oof. That's gonna be a tough one. I don't think I've ever, I've ever made a drum and bass track before. I listened to a few tracks. I like it. That's gonna be a challenge, but I think, I think we can do something there. I need to find some drum and bass sounds because I just don't really have anything. One seventy-four BPM. That's quite fast. I think once I got like the drums in place, just to get an idea of the bounce, I'm thinking to flip a sample on top of it. I don't really know like where I'm gonna take it, but I just have to try and figure it out. All right, there we go. That's the bounce. You know what, maybe you just keep it simple. All right, I think that works as a nice little drum loop that we got there. Now I just need to find a sample. Usually like the, the drum and bass songs that I've heard, they got like more of like a, like a higher pitch vocal chop or something like that. Where are we? What the hell is going? Kind of like this one. Maybe that's too, that's too much maybe. It's kind of empty. Yeah, let's try that. I think that could work because the vocals are kind of simple. Like there's not too much going on in the background there. That is so hard. All right, let me join that up. Contact it. And then just repeat that over. And then, actually, I'm just going to force legato, but then shorten that. So everything should more or less be like perfect time. Maybe just that again, just repeat it, because it, it worked for the first one. Just to make it sound a bit more 
free man, just putting in some crystallizer. And I want those chords to be like even more wide, I think, so I'm just gonna put on a doubler. Slap some reverb on that one as well. It's a nice synthy bass. I'm gonna pull up Serum. Alright, so I finished up the beat. It took me a while because I put on like a bunch of automations and added in loads of different effects and stuff just to make it a bit more interesting. But this is what we've got now. I have to turn this on all the way up. Crazy. I've never made drum and bass before, but I have to bounce this out and just listen to this on my headphones. This one is sounding crazy. All right, let's get rid of drum and bass now. I want something easier, something like trap, drill. I'd be cool with those. Oh shit, I thought it was gonna be garage for a second. Hyper pop, I spelled it wrong.
think I might even maybe just move all these up an octave. I mean, not an octave, but like a few semitones. Right, finished up the beat, this is what we got. And then after this section it switches up a little bit. And then just at the end it breaks a little bit. So I ended up making two beats. The first one was drum and bass. I'm not gonna lie, I love that one. I'm definitely bouncing that out and I'm gonna be banging that on my headphones on the train journey home because that just sounds sick. And then I made this quick hyper pop beat. But I challenge you to try something new as well. Spin the wheel, put in some random genres, spin the wheel and see what happens and see what you come up with. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up button and make sure you hit the subscribe button so we can get to 400K subscribers ASAP. That is about for this one. I'll see you in the future.